Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and the day is finally here. It's the moment that we've all been anticipating, and it's what's gonna change Overwatch forever, and it's the patch that updates Symmetra's teleporter! Ow, oh, yeah! No, basically, it's the Baptiste Challenge update. However, there is a bunch of other stuff that did come with this patch that does relate to Overwatch buffs and nerfs to specific heroes, but I already reviewed that. In this video, I really want to focus on the brand new stuff that you might not know about, but also to inform you of the the brand new Baptiste reunion challenge. If you guys don't know or even follow what's been going on, there was a brand new lore comic storyboard related to Baptiste just kind of giving his backstory when it came to Talon and his old running partners that he used to run with in Talon. Well, now there's a brand new challenge that is related to that that rewards you with a bunch of items that you can unlock in Overwatch, but also by watching Twitch streams. So getting into the challenge, it's very simple to explain, especially if you've already participated in the previous two challenges related to D.Va and Ana, basically you have 14 days up until July 1st to complete this challenge and you just have to win nine games either quick play, arcade, and you're not going to be winning in competitive so I won't even suggest competitive for you guys. And throughout your nine game win journey, you will unlock specific items depending on how many games you did win. If you win three games, you will unlock this player icon repping the brand new Batiste skin. If you win six games, you do unlock these two new sprays that are related to the Overwatch lore comic, which I will link in the description below if you still haven't read the What You Left Behind story of Batiste, but more importantly, if you win 9 games, you do unlock the brand new epic skin, the medic skin for Batiste. He's looking like literally a health pack, so Genji mains, you should love the skin. This is your skin that you missed out on in 2018 and 2019, alright? Now you get a medic pack. <laughs> That was a stupid joke. Again, you just have to win nine games, not even in a row, just simply win nine games in quick play to arcade or competitive, just not the game browser. So all you not safe for work 18 plus players, sorry, but I'm not sorry. Why do you play that play? But the fun doesn't end there, except for not safe for work playlist players. Because if you watch specific Twitch streamers at a specific time window, you can unlock these sprays in game. Now, again, there is going to be a schedule. You can't just watch any Twitch streamer. So if you do watch me, Sorry, I'm not cool enough. I can't have you unlock these sprays, but if you watch someone like Tyrodin or watch someone like Siegel in a specific time window or after his specific time window, like Siegel, he's going to be streaming today, but afterwards you can still watch him to unlock these sprays. You will be able to unlock the Batiste new medic skin after watching two hours. After watching four hours, you can unlock the characters that you do find out more about in the What You Left Behind comic lore. And if you watch a total of six hours, you see Baptiste and his homie just chilling on the beach. Just, oh, I love all these little art designs and sprays and the chibi style. Basically, you see them on the screen. I don't need to describe them, but it's two hours for the first Baptiste skin, four hours for the homies, and then Baptiste shooting his little like grenade, and then six hours for the cute summertime fun sprays. And that's really it in regards to the Baptiste challenge. There is a little special going on with the Blizzard store where if you spend $35 or more, you get a free Baptiste shirt, but that that's really it. In regards of the rest of the update, yes, this is the update where the Diva Defense Matrix is nerfed, where Batiste is buffed a little bit in regards of his ultimate, but more importantly, McCree is also buffed with his rate of fire. So this should be interesting when it comes to the meta and possibly shifting it when it comes to the DPS players. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really want to go into details about all that, but I do want to end this video off by informing everybody that yes, competitive deathmatch is finally back! I swear, my neighbors hate me and all my screaming, but I mean, it's not like I scream at night anyway. This is the only time I get loud, but that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Competitive FFA, as it's also known as, is now in the arcade. You have 10 placements, and it's just gonna be like regular competitive, except no teammates. So, hey, if you wanna play Symmetra and you lose a bunch of games, that's on you, baby boy. But I think that's gonna be lasting, I wanna say, a month or so. It's just a limited time game mode, as it usually is, which I wish they were added permanently but I think it's just gonna be here for a month in the arcade which actually does count towards your progression for the Baptiste reunion challenge now you do only have to place in the top four for it to count as a win so if you want to play your placements while also doing the reunion challenge and you're good then you can kill two birds with one stone but anyway guys that is the Baptiste reunion challenge along with so many other stuff going on and if you're unappreciative of what Blizzard has done with this specific update 
listen, I don't know what to tell you. Blizzard has been doing an awesome job at so many different things, bringing many events like this, updating the game, nerfing goats, supporting broadcasters, bringing you lore, bringing you merchandise, and people, you know, are appreciative, but there's some people that just aren't, and it really makes me angry. But I'm so happy for this specific update. So let me know what you think, and let me know if you're already done with the Baptiste Reunion Challenge. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.